In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Uh, today's uh, gospel is about the parable of the sower, and uh, the sower in this case is Christ himself. He's going out to plant, and he puts seeds, and this seeds is the word of God. And uh, God is, when he goes out, despite all the type of soils, is his word for everybody. It is not to only some people, so that he's going to the whole world. And uh, God sent us his, this seeds in our, you know, translation. It's the word of God comes in, uh, to us in many, many ways, and in ways that we, um, you know, that the word of God comes in a, in a, in a gospel, it comes from a friend. Uh, and uh, even if we are far from the church, God will never leave us. He will always send us uh, a message one way or another. Sometimes the message is hard. Uh, someone died all of a sudden. He was with us yesterday, and today he is no longer. So it's a wake-up call for us. Sometimes someone in an accident. All of this is messages from God. And uh, it's all, even if it's a bad situation like this, it just to make me, a, to, it's a kind of a wake-up call. Uh, and because he sent us this message all the time, uh, then we have no excuse. And if the, you know, in the book of Romans, it says, therefore, you are inexcusable, O man. Um, and sadly, as we see in uh, today's gospel, you see that three types of soils did not actually bring any fruit, only one of them. And uh, it is not, it's kind of expected, and uh, the Lord warned us about the narrow gate, and he says there is a few that will find it. So we know that the majority will go through the, you know, the wide gate or the open gate, but only uh, a lot less will go through the narrow gate. And, but in this case, still we have hope because all what the Lord is asking us is to repent. He will never ask us why did we sin, but he will ask us why who did not repent. And uh, it says here, strive to enter through the narrow gate. The um, today is about all without a without exception. And his voice will reach us wherever we are. In the English, ينتقل فجأة حد يحصل حدثة تبقى ويك اب كول تو نو انه يعني احنا متعودين كده يعني نصحى وننام وكل يوم زي ما هو وهنصحى بكرة ومتأكدين انه يعني كله يعني الشيطان بيضحك علينا ان احنا يعني كل يوم هيبقى زي ما هو كده وطبعا عشان ربنا بيبعت لنا المسج دهيت فاحنا بلا عذر لان سمعنا الكلام وحذرنا وحذر كل البشرية فبيقول لذلك انت بلا عذر ايها الانسان وشفنا انه تلات انواع من التربة ما اسمروش اي حاجة و و اونلي نوع واحد من التربة اللي جاب سمر وده علشان زي ما احنا عارفين ان الباب الضيق يعني قليلين اللي اللي يخشوا منه يعني فبيقول قللون هم الذي الذين يجدونه واجتهدوا ان تدخلوا من الباب باب الضيق uh, لما خرج ال... when the, the sower went to 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 plant, um, you know some of these seeds uh, fell in, in four different types of soil. The first one was the the wayside, and the second one was the rocks, and the third one is among thorns, and the fourth one is the the good ground. And uh, if we take the first one, the wayside, the wayside is uh, is um, it's kind of a you know it's a road, so it's a hard. And it's known if you go on the countryside anywhere, or even you go towards the cottages, you find that this road is always higher than the fields. And this is a symbol of pride. So this wayside was hard, and people walk all over it. And of course, uh, you know, any seeds that fell on this road did not grow, even didn't even have a chance to try because the birds, uh, you know, stole those seeds. And the birds, in this case, is Satan himself. So this seeds was a stolen seeds. And of course, we apply this in our life. We find that, you know, I, you know, Satan can take so much of my time on my phone. Uh, he's stealing my time that's precious and we're only here on, on earth for a very limited time. 
He can steal my health, uh, get me addicted to something, and I know it's not good for me, but yet still I am, you know, um, this is being stolen from me. Uh, he, st he can steal my purity by, uh, you know, justification that everybody's doing this, and it's my age, it's this, it's that. Um, so all of this, um, it, it is not, it is, it, is a, it's a, it is from the devil. So the wayside, um, is also things cannot go be below the surface. So this is someone living just a day by day and he's not thinking about his eternal life. And uh, you know, any that virtues that have, um, if he doesn't work on it, he, it can be also stolen. Uh, so when, we, when someone has a virtue and uh, he expose it, the, you know, the, the devil will take it from him. As Abuna Abdul Masih Manahri used to say, if the virtue became known, Satan will, will steal it and steal, the, steal also the, the, um, the store, will be stolen by the fake glory. Uh, so, for example, if someone has, God give him this gift of giving, he understands that money is just not everything and he is giving uh, so much to the church, which is a virtue that he should be thankful for that God gave it to him. But yet, he can, this virtue can be easily stolen from him if he starts to think um, people should know how much I donate, or when I donate, I want to make sure it's known. <clears throat> نرجع تاني لل إن ال 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 الزارع لما خرج ال يزرع البذور كان في أربع أنواع من من التربة اللي هو ال أول واحد اللي هو الطريق وتاني واحد اللي هو ال ال الطريق السخري والثالث اللي هو البذور وقت وسط الشوك والرابع اللي هو الأرض الجيدة أول واحد اللي هو الطريق ده هو يعني ده إنسان بيسمع كلمة ربنا وما فيش في نيته انه يتغير هو سامحها وعارفها بس اي لاف ذا سن انا بحب الخطيه ومش عايز اتغير ما فيش توبه ما تفرقش مع حياته الابديه هيحصل فيها ايه ولما ينزل بزور ربنا يبعت له اي حاجه بتتسرق منه الشيطان بيسرقها على طول منه يسرق منه صحته يسرق منه وقته يسرق منه عفته كل دوت في الطريق نلاقي انه يعني ما فيش اي ديبث واتس ايفر كل حاجه انسان عايش يعني حياه سطحيه ومش كده وبس متخيل ان هو فاهم اكتر من الكل اللي حواليه واكتر من اباء الكنيسه ويقعد يدين في الكنيسه ويدين في البطرك ويدين في الاساقفه لان هو فاهم اكتر من كل الناس ومش مركز على ابديته خالص. فالنوع اللي من الانسان ده هو يعني بيبقى صعب ان هو يتغير طول ما هو حاسس ان هو يعني انسان انسان يعني كويس كل حاجه بالنسبه له كويسه يعني. وطبعا لو عنده حصل ان هو عنده اي فضيله ممكن الشيطان برضه يسرقها منه زي ما كان ابونا عبد المسيح مناهر بيقول الفضيله اذا زهرت سرقت ونهبت من المجد الباطل. The second type of ground is the rocky ground and this is on the surface looks like it's a good soil. You can see nice soil but just if you go down a little bit you find that it's all rocky. And uh, so what happens is when the seeds go on, on the soil, it actually it starts to grow. And it, as it goes down, there is no depth. It can't go anywhere. So actually, it grows even faster because you know, all the energy is going uh, towards the plant itself, not to the roots. Uh, but as you heard in, in today's gospel, that then, um, then once the sun comes, it actually uh, it just uh, it withers or it dies. Uh, and this is a symbol of someone that he listened to the word of God, and as he listened to it, uh, he is rejoiced, he's happy, he feels it is from God, and he makes promises, and two days later, everything is forgotten. Uh, doesn't take his spiritual life seriously. And we see this problem sometimes in New Year's Eve. Everyone makes a resolution and want to stick to it. And, you know, a few days later that, you know, it's all gone and with all empty promises. Um, uh, yeah, so it's, some people, you know, they became addicted to sermons. They listened to it. You know, and we are not, um, you know, 
living those sermons. We're not looking at who said the sermon, how can I live his life? Still until now, people chase Pope Carolus' miracles and all his books, and they don't you know, look at how he lived his life. All what they're looking for is the miracle. And the miracle, even if a miracle happened to the person, it will not change him. The change has to come from inside, not uh, from, uh, from, uh, from a miracle that happened. So sometimes when I have a covenant with God, I have to take it seriously. I have to, to fight towards it. You, the, in, the, in, the, in, the book, in the book of uh, Hebrew, it says, you have not resisted to bloodshed, striving against sin. So how many of us, when he is tempted by sin, strives to bloodshed? None. I, forgive me, I'm talking about myself. Um, so we have to, uh, you know, don't look at the people around us and feel everybody is doing the same, the same sin. I have to find, I have to fight myself to, uh, to the bloodshed. So we have to be satisfied from inside. Uh, if I'm not satisfied from inside, then you know everything comes in my way. I, it will make me fall. A satisfied soul loathes the honeycomb, loathes the honeycomb. But to a hungry soul, every better is thing is sweet. So في في الأماكن المحجرة اللي هي تاني نوع من التربة هنلاقي إنها من فوق بس التربة بينها شكلها كويس ونضيف ويعني couple of inches down يعني من تحت كده نلاقي كلها حجارة وطبعا أول ما تنزل البزرة بتنمو وتنمو بسرعة لأن تيجي تنزل للعمق مش لقي أي عمق فكل المية وكل حاجة بتطلع للساق فتطلع بسرعة وتبدو أنها جابت نتيجة كويسة خالص وبعد كده هو طبعا أول ما تطلع الشمس بتزبل وتموت فده رمز الإنسان اللي هو يعني بياخد كلمة ربنا وينبسط بيها خالص لكن مش مش واخد الحياة الروحية بجدية ومش مش مش بياخد مش بيجاهد ضد الخطية يعني وبعد كم يوم لما يسمع كده الكم عزة بعد شوية بينسى كل الكلام ده هوت وبيرجع لحياته العادية يعني فطبعا لما الواحد يعمل عهد مع ربنا ان هو يقاوم ضد الخطية يعني معلمنا بولس الرسول يقول لم تقاوموا بعد حتى الدم مجاهدين ضد الخطية فيعني الواحد لازم يحاول بكل شدة ان هو يعني ان هو يجاهد ضد الخطية ده هيت ويكون شبعان من ربنا لانه لو مش شبعان ربنا من ربنا اي حاجة هتيجي في سكته هتوقعه في الخطية على طول في السفر الامثال يقول النفس الشبعانة تدوس العسل وللنفس الجائعة كل مر حلو uh, the third type of, uh, of ground was the among thorns. So it, it's a ground uh, that the, the plants, the seeds fill and actually grew and has, uh, you know, some roots. Uh, but uh, at, at the end, there was thorns every way around it. And this thorns uh, was coming. Um, at the end of the day, this, this kind of ground did not actually bring any fruit, despite the fact that there was a plant. And sadly, this is represent many, many of us, this third type of ground, because we all love God. We all listen to the word of God. We all come to church. But we still also, uh, most of us, uh, have you know, this th thorns around us. And he explained it, the Lord explained this thorns is, uh, you know, it, it, it chokes the plant with cares, riches, and pleasures. So the cares is, uh, we're worried about tomorrow. So I come to church, but my faith is weak. Uh, I come to church and come to liturgy, but I'm still worried about tomorrow. So um, he, he, when he talks about the cares, cares about, you know, the kids, cares about, uh, you know, business, cares about uh, I'm afraid of death, uh, cares about uh, you know, my health. Uh, all of this, uh, you know, uh, this cares, it chokes the plants. And the Lord answered and said, therefore, do not worry about tomorrow. So this is you know, a, a, a guidance from the Lord that we don't worry about tomorrow. Let the tomorrow worry about it, and it's in God's hand. The second thing that makes the plants chokes, uh, it's the riches. Uh, so many people wanted to be rich, <clears throat> and we know that the love of money is the root of, the root of all evil. 
So this riches uh, sometimes uh, misleads us. And uh, sadly, the new generation is looking not just to get rich, and how can I get rich fast? And you know, in order to accomplish anything like this, guaranteed you will have to do something wrong. Instead of relying on God and on uh, the ability that God give me, that I can figure a way to even, and, is, and again, to, even if I wanted to be rich, to be through the Lord himself, and only if, if he allows it. Because often the Lord wanted to give us this richness, but is afraid that it can ruin us. And we've seen some stories before of saints uh, that actually, or not since, but people that, you know, they were working hard close to God and someone prayed for them and blessed them and the minute they had money, they stayed away from God. So we, uh, you know, نوع الأرض التالتة اللي هي الأرض اللي هي بتبقى وسط الشوك الزرع البزار بتنزل بيها وتنزل فيها والزرع بيكبر ودي بتمثل كتير مننا خالص من الناس لان النوع البزار نوع الارض ديت اللي هو كتير اللي هو مشابه لينا بنيجي الكنيسه بنحب ربنا ومواظبين على كل حاجه لكن مش قادرين ان احنا نسيب الموضوع في ايد ربنا وات ايفر ات از يعني اي حاجه هي ما زلنا ليل نهار مخنوقين بالحاجه ديت وهو لما لما السيد المسيح فسر المثل دوت قال انه الهموم الحياه دي يعني يعني البذره بتتخنق بسبب هموم الحياه وغناها ولذتها يعني هموم الحياه دي انا شايل بكره هيحصل ايه للولاد هيحصل ايه لصحتي هيحصل ايه انا خايف ان انا اروح واعيش في 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 مثلا في ريتيرمنت هوم سم بيبل ايفن يعني بعض الناس حتى تصلي ربنا ان هو ياخد روحهم قبل ما وهم صغيرين علشان مش عايزين يخشوا في حاجه كده وري وري هموم 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 ومش قادر يسيب لربنا يعني وقت يشتغل تاني حاجه الريتشنس اللي هي الغنى طبعا كتير من الناس بتركز على الموضوع ده هو وكتير بيختار حتى الكارير بتاعته على هذا الاساس فيا ريت نبقى حريصين انه الغنى ده حاجه بتبقى يعني ربنا لو بيسمح بيها لحد بيستأمنوا عليها ما هياش حاجه بتاعته ودي كتير بردك مش فاهم الموضوع ده هو لما الواحد يبقى عنده ربنا يسمح له بحاجه زي كده هو مستأمنه على الحاجه دهيت مش ليه هو يس هو ممكن يستخدم جزء منها ليه لكن مش ليه هو فلازم نبقى حريصين ان محبه المال اصل لكل الشرور the pleasure the third one that it chokes the the plants is the pleasure of life I'm, 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 i wanted to you know all the life around me and i wanted to uh, enjoy it and uh, you know um, يعني I'm focusing so much in أنا how do I enjoy my life on earth فدي لذة الحياة بشتهي إن إن يبقى يعني عندي أقتني حاجات كتيرة ودي طبعا الحاجات دي طول ما أنا بفكر فيها هي بتخنق الأفكار بتاعتي uh, وطبعا again uh, this three types of soil uh, and specifically the third one despite that it actually grew there was no fruits ف دي اهم حاجه في الموضوع ان هو اللي انا دلوقتي نوع الارض دوت بغض النظر انها يعني انها الزرع كبر وكل حاجه لكن في النهايه زيها زي النوع الاولاني والثاني انه هي ما جابتش ثمر. The, the third one uh, for the fourth one is the good ground. Uh, it says here but the ones that fell on the good ground are those who are having Having heard the word with a noble and good heart, keep it and bear it, bear fruit with patience. So those that he lis they listen to and they, they hear it and keep it in their heart and they act on it. So that means the first types of soil was not acting on it, they just hear. And that's what I said earlier, we listen to sermon and we like it, but I'm not you know, doing anything, I'm not putting it into my heart. And is also saying they are, they bring fruit. So once this word of God that I heard and I kept it in my heart, it brings fruit. And this fruit goes also to my mind. So it protects my mind from all the bad thoughts, from all, you know, uh, the atheism, from everything that comes to my mind. Because I took this seed, that faith that went into my heart and also put it in my mind. And there is no 
stones like the second ground that uh, prevented there is no pride there is no uh, there is no thorns to uh, to stop it so and those fruits obviously we can find them in uh, in galatians 5 which is love joy peace long suffering and so on so we have to be like the fruitful tree and this fruitful fr tree feeds every one around it. So when we plant a tree, the tree itself doesn't eat the fruit. It's actually for everyone around. Uh, so we have to be satisfied and from inside in order to be able to serve uh, everyone that around, the, around me. And to be like Christ when was saying who he went about doing good. And, um, and also in, in this good ground is saying that it yielded a crop some a hundredfold, some sixty and some thirty. And, in, uh, and in that we know that sixty and thirty and a and, and hundred is thirty out of thirty. It is not thirty out of a hundred because God gave each one to his ability. So he's not giving someone ability to do 30 and then judge him based on that, that you, you only scored 30 out of 60. 30 out of 30. So that means uh, he was a good ground and God is pleased with that. يبقى هنا الكلمة إن أنا بأخذها وبحفظها في قلبي وزي ما شوفنا في الـ في الـ في الأنواع الأراضي التانية إن هي مجرد إنها الكلمة اتسمعت لكن ما دخلتش القلب وما تحفظتش في القلب وطبعا منها من القلب وعلى العقل كمان عشان أحميه من أفكار الإلحاد ومن الهموم ومن من المشاكل ومن أفكار الغنى وكل الحاجات ديت لأنه الكلمة دخلت وبتحميني من جوه وطبعا بتجيب سمر كتير والسمر ده هو نلاقيه موجود في غلاطيا خمسة محبة فرح سلام طول أناء سون فالشجرة دي اللي هي بتسمر بتطعم كل أو بتخدم كل اللي حواليها يعني كل اللي حواليها بيستفادوا من السمر ده هو يبقى أنا لازم أكون إنسان شبعان من جوه ومشبع عشان أقدر أخدم كل اللي حواليا وتشبه بالسيد المسيح لما كان يقول يصنع خيرا وآخر حاجة إنه هو السمر دوت الجاب اللي هو ثلاثين وستين ومية وزي ما قلنا الثلاثين من ثلاثين وستين من ستين لأن ربنا أدى كل واحد على حسب مقدرته فاللي حتى جاب ثلاثين دوت في نظر ربنا دي أرض جيدة لا يقل أي شيء عن اللي جاب هندرد فولد فياريت كل واحد فينا ياخد من باله ياخد باله ان احنا بنيجي الكنيسة وموجودون موجودين داخل الكنيسة وبنسمع نسمع كلمة ربنا ياريت ان انا حاسب نفسي كده يا ترى انا نوع انا نوع من الارض في الدولت ولو فرض ان انا طلعت من الارض اللي هي تالت ارض ان انا ام دوينج يعني كل الحاجات الكويسة يبقى ازاي احولها تبقى رابع ارض علشان يعني استفاد ويبقى لي نصيب في صالح ربنا يدينا ان احنا نعرف نفسنا ونقرب منه اكتر ونبقى زي ونقول نصنع خيرا to him be the glory forever and ever. Amen.